Hello everybody. We're going to do some uh, spatial data engineering with uh, Radiant Studio. We're going to uh, eliminate all um, road lines that fall within a particular region. And we're going to use uh, some sophisticated methodology to do that. For the demonstration today, we're going to use Manifold Viewer as a as software. Uh, Manifold Viewer, we're going to click open a example project file, the same merge and clip examples file that we used in the uh, video that shows how to uh, grab all road lines that uh, fall within a particular region. We're going to use Manifold Viewer because uh, it has all the, it is a read-only version of Radiant Studio that's free. And although it's read-only and although it's free, it still retains all the uh, spatial data magic that uh, Radiant Studio itself can do. It's just that it cannot save the results of the project. So it's generally used for only for viewing and, of course, for learning about things. If you actually want to save the results of, of a spatial data operation like this, you really should be using Radiant Studio, which is inexpensive, but it's not free. So be that as it may, you can follow along in this project by using Manifold Viewer. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a map based on this regions drawing. And the way I'm going to do that is right click, click on regions and choose new map, I'll create map. A map is a structure in Radiant that has multiple layers, so we can use it to see different sorts of data together. And the uh, roads data set that we're working with, I'll zoom to fit that layer, is all the Roman roads uh, that uh, were in the old Roman Empire, at least that we know about. Uh, and uh, we want we want to uh, clip these so that we remove all the Roman roads that exist within France. That's kind of the reverse of clipping all those that fall within France. Uh, and uh, to do that, we're first going to use this regions drawing, which is all the regions of France, that is the old regions before the recent administrative restructuring. But uh, we're going to combine all these into a single one big region that's, that we're going to call France. And then we're going to use that single one big region to uh, cookie cut the uh, Roman roads. And then we're going to use a clever trick to uh, identify the Roman roads that fall within France and delete those. So first let's create uh, one big region from all those independent provinces. And to do that, we're going to use uh, union areas, as we did in the other demo. You can see Radian does the preview it's going to create. Click Add Component, click Close, and you can see it's created this new drawing. Now, that's kind of an unwieldy name, so I'm going to change the name of this drawing. And because drawings take their data from a table, I have to change the name of the table and the name of the drawing. So first I'll change the name of the table to uh, let's call it a uh, France table, and then we'll call change the name of this drawing to France. And then, since we changed the name of the table, the properties of the drawing are no longer accurate because it thinks it's taking its name from a different table. So we're, we're going to edit the properties to Radian is not a GS. Radian is a uh, spatial database tool. So we, some of these things we do a little bit manually compared to how we would do them in a GIS like a manifold system. There you go. That's cool. Now let's drag and drop France into the uh, map and there we see France. Uh, let's quickly uh, change the style that to make it a... Oops. Let's quickly, cha quickly change the style on France to uh, make the background color a little bit prettier. And uh, let's uh, make that a slightly less saturated blue. And a little lighter. Okay, much better. Good. Now let's uh, slice and dice the roads. We're going to use this one big area that's France to slice and dice the roads. And uh, I want to tag those roads with something, uh, with uh, some information. So I'm going to change, I'm going to edit the France table here. I'm going to alt-click the tab to un undock it so I can do all this, keep it on it visible. When we uh, edited the regions, the regions table here, if we looked at the attributes of the uh, regions uh, objects, the regions areas, uh, there was a uh, there was a name for each of these regions. And when uh, Radian collapsed all those regions, when it merged them all to a single region, it had to know from all these different regions what values for the attributes to put into the combined object. And since we didn't tell it to do anything different, it just took the first one that it found, which was here, Provence, Alps, uh, whatever. And uh, I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that to uh, France. And for the region number, I'm going to make it zero. 
And here you can see a preview. We haven't committed the edit to the table. Uh, reading allows us to edit the entire record at once before we commit the edit, and that makes it possible to edit multiple fields in the, in the record at once so that if there's constraints where, say, if one field has to be greater than another and so forth, we can edit that all at once and then click Control enter to commit the edit. So now we've committed the edit. Okay, good. So now that's the table that we have for the France table right there, and that's what that looks like. Uh, let's go to work on the roads. Click here on the map to uh, verify. The, yep, that has the focus. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to slice these roads with the France region. To do that, we're going to use Edit Transform. And since I don't want to delete anything, I'm just going to use the Identity Transform, which just slices and dices them without deleting anything. So the roads, we're going to use Overlay Topology Identity to know how this works. Uh, uh, what all these zillions of different uh, templates do, we consult the user manual, which has some brilliant illustrations that uh, show how all this stuff works. And the overlay we're going to use is France. And I'm going to click Add Component. It thinks for a second and creates a new table, which is the result of the identity operation. Now, let's take a look at what that identity operation actually did. And if we, here in the roads, the original roads, the, the one we just sliced and diced, zoom into this region here. I'm going to right click and drag to zoom. And if I look at, the, say, this road here, if I control click this road, uh, in the original roads region, we can see it was a single line that extended across the boundary of France. What the identity operation did is it cut this line so that on this side it's one line, and on that side it's another line object. And uh, we can see how that works. Actually, let's leave that line selected. We can see how that works by uh, double-clicking rows to turn that off. And now let's drop, drag and drop this layer in here. Now let's take a look at that same location in this new drawing that we created. This is the result of the identity operation. If we zoom in here, we can control-click this. And we see that it's now two separate line objects. There's a line object here and there's a line object here. There's a different line object. And let's uh, unclick that and here control alt, control click that to select it. And that's very different than, I'll turn that off, and here's the original roads thing where this is uh, the same line object and it doesn't matter whether we click it on this side because it gets selected or whether we click it on that side and it's still the whole thing is selected. So what we now have with this uh, new layer is uh, a bunch of roads that have been neatly trimmed out from the rest of the road network as if uh, this the outline of France was a giant cookie cutter and they trimmed them out. Well that's cool. Now how do we select all these roads that are on the inside here? I mean you know we could, we could do it manually I suppose like this but that's uh, doing all that one, one step at a time is uh, pretty clumsy. So what we want to do is we want to automatically select all those segments that are within France and to do that, we exploit a um, uh, how the overlay operation works by adding fields. The original roads table, if we take a look at the original roads table, here's the original roads table. And I'll put it here. I think we see it there. And if we look, that's the original roads table. And over here is the table for France. And the overlay topology table that uh, drives this uh, drawing is a combination of those two tables. And uh, I'll undock that and kind of park it here in the middle. And what we can see is that some of the fields came from the roads table here. Those are those right there. And some of the fields came from the uh, France table. And those are the right ones right here. And the ones that came from the France table, because that was used as the overlay, are marked with an O underscore. So for example, here there's a field called province. And, and in this table, that's called Un o underscore province. Uh, and uh, if we uh, jump to the end of the table, we can see that some of the records here, for example, this record right here, uh, inherited some of the fields. That's one that was created as a result of the over overlay operation. Uh, the ones that weren't were all, are all left with nulls. So what we're going to do, what we're going to exploit to uh, find all the uh, roads that are within France is uh, we're going to uh, select all those, all these line segments for which the O underscore province field has the value France in it. 
Okay, we're here in the map. And to do that, let's click Edit, Transform. And, oops, so I don't want to, I want, excuse me, Edit, Select, Edit, Select. And we're going to select all those where text contains, and that's the O province field, contains the value F. And notice that Radian is trying to preview this as soon as I start entering stuff. So as soon as I enter the letter F, I don't need to really enter all of F-R-A-N-C-E, -E, France, because the only f records that have a value here at all in the O underscore province field are those that came in as a result of the overlay operation, and those are the ones that are within uh, France. So we only need to go that far. We can see from the preview that's enough. So let's click Replace Selection, and we've now selected all those segments that are uh, within France. Uh, let's open that tables again. I want to I wanna open that table again. Because I want to show something really cool here. Uh, and back here in the in the map, we have all these uh, s lines selected. And what we can do is when we, if we want to, we can delete all these selected ones now. And when I click Edit Delete, it'll be updated both in the drawing, in the map, and in the table as well. All these records here that have France in them will disappear because those are all line segments that are about to be deleted. So let's delete those. One, two, three, delete. Gone, and here they're gone as well in the table. So there we go. We've now deleted all the uh, road lines that were uh, part of France. If we get rid of that area and the regions area, we can see that the roads network is now empty, except for those where, where there used to be roads here that, that were part of France. So that's an example of how we can uh, do what in some uh, JS products is called a uh, uh, clip uh, uh, discard, as opposed to clip preserve. I believe that's what ArcGIS Pro calls it. Uh, and uh, here there is an, there is not a in Radian not a clip and discard or a clip and you know keep the remainder or, or discard what's inside and that sort of thing. It's just uh, uh, we just uh, do the uh, intersect the topology overlay identity and the ones that we don't want we can delete and we just select those based on their attributes. Uh, so that's how it works and I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful and goodbye from Radian Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.